toes in the normal standing position, the rear toes in the normal standing position. I'm now doing some work on the equivalent of our heel, commonly called the hock joint. It's not truly a hock, but anyway, the tibiotarsis, which is this bone here, and the tarsometatarsis, which is this one here. Very good. Next step will be to see how this strip of uh, vet light fits. So I'm going to put one toe in there, one toe in there, one toe there, toe out the front, and I'll just get that one in position, that one in position. And now the idea is to start taping these onto the onto the um, the splint. Steady, calm, calm, calm. It's a bit challenging to concentrate on calming at the same time as do these procedures. Just calm. I'm just now compressing the compressing the um, the bandage against itself without squeezing the toes. Right, so we've we've basically now got the the foot strapped in the open position like that and he can still move move the joint he can move the joint up further here like that so we're making good progress what we don't want however is him chewing his own toe yet we want to be able to check the toe to make sure that it's got feeling and so forth that the bandage is not on too tight or whatever so we're about to apply some decoys I'll also apply a little bit more dressing to the um, to cover the top of his front toe. Now, here's the first decoy. I'm creating a loop in the bandage as I'm applying it. And I'm twisting that in under there. And instead of pulling it tight, I'm going to twist it onto the top of the, the leg. So we've got to that stage. And then I'm going to put a worry knot on the top. Just make a little ball. So that's going to stick up, stick up on the tip of his... Um, stick up on the tip of his dressing like that. And 
we'll do something similar at the rear of the, uh, the dressing. Okay, so we've now got a couple of decoys for him.